Okay. Ooh. Seeing as the buzzer went off four minutes ago, or three, or two, I will call the meeting of September 15th, 2015 <coughs> to order. We have additions and deletions. So we will start with, we're going to review bids for fuel, oil, and winter sand. In fact, to selection committee. But you want to do that first? No, no, not no. do them, but just their additions oh, to okay. the agenda. We have uh, Safford Commons opening coming up. We have a hazard mitigation plan that was approved by FEMA. We need to, we have a fire chief selection committee, so we need two people for that. And then we have Board of Sewer Commissioners <coughs> and repairs to the sludge truck, my favorite topic. So, should we start with the bids for the... No, let's just start with citizen comments. Okay. Oh, we'll start. That's okay. We'll start with citizens' comments. <coughs> so we have a citizen I'll, I'll come comment. on up. Okay. Uh, Emo China with uh, here for the village trustees um, and uh, requesting money from the selectmen uh, for our Halloween um, night uh, that we put on every year. A little bit of history. Uh, Phil, correct me if I'm wrong here. Uh, probably 10 years ago, I guess they decided, about 10 years ago, they decided to hey. shut down the streets of High Street, Golf, Maple, to give the community and people in the area a safe place to go and get candy. The problem was they really didn't think it out, and what ended up happening was all the residents of those streets ended up paying for all the candy. So about five, six years ago, they all got together, came before the village trustees, and asked the village trustees for money or a donation towards the purchase of candy for the residents of those streets to hand out to people that showed up. So for the last five or six years, uh, the village trustees have been donating money every year to that fund um, to do that. This year, we were hoping and coming before you to see, because it's not just a village we feel it's not just a village event, it's a whole kind of town, community, um, not just the village Region. people do it, it's a regional kind yeah. of event, and uh, we're hoping that uh, the selectmen would approve, uh, select persons would approve um, uh, $750 towards the purchase of candy for this Halloween event that we, we do every year. Um, just trying to, I, I guess that's it. And what, what happens is that money then is given to uh, several of the families. They go out and buy candy, and then we distribute the candy evenly among all the families that want to hand out candy on Halloween night. So that's how that money would be used. So. I would assume we'd come out of the select, select ones. Contingency fund, yeah. correct. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded to help support the Halloween candy for the village and town. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Really appreciate it. That, worked. Thank you. that wasn't hard at all. <laughs> <laughs> you were good, John. I thought we did something on here. Did we give you any money last year? <laughs> yeah. No. What did we do last year? <coughs> I don't believe the town's ever. We, one year, I think they did. Yeah, we Maybe did. Maybe the I first year? After, no, I think it was the year of Irene. Irene. Oh, yes. okay. We went it might have been we did as much okay. as we could that year, and I think the select board did it. Right. Okay. <coughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Sweet. Uh, I have another citizen's comment or question. Yes, ma'am. Um, been hearing a lot of um, concerns about the Heartland Hill flashing speed thing and wondering what your thoughts are on that? It just barely got put up. Yeah, but I already are people they up? are talking about One it. is up. <coughs> the one coming down the hill is down up. The, hill. the other unit has some electrical issues with polarity on some of the pieces between the solar panel and the flasher. Yeah, I was up and checked it out today. I think it looks great. I think it's in a Mich good place. Michelle? Mm -hmm. I've I promoted that. Mm -hmm. I actually requested it from the board. Yeah, I love that. As you well know, I live on the hill. Right. And uh, over the years that we've lived there, the volume of traffic has 
increased exponentially. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to see the count that we'll get from these this equipment to see what it, it has increased just since the last time we had the portable ones up there. Right. And uh, yeah, well, I would have to say the the majority. What's that? Something over 50 percent. Mind the speed limit. And, and when you've been there for almost 30 years, you can tell yeah. how the traffic's moving and whatnot. But we have, I'm going to say maybe 10 or 15 percent or 20 percent that it's a racetrack. And they sometimes start at Route 4. And we can hear them when they come off Route 4. Going and then when they crest the hill. Going up more than coming down. They come down pretty fast, too. I mean, we're, we're talking, I, it's going to be good to see, them again, the meters. But in a lot of cases, we're talking 50, 60 miles an hour. Wow. It's so wide and so smooth. Yeah, mm -hmm. and straight. Well, and, uh, right there you get the yeah. Of and people, a lot of people walk on the hill, a lot of people jog on the hill, bikes, you know, kids with you know, pets and whatnot. And I think it's just a dangerous situation. You think the sign <coughs> is making a difference? I mean, they work. They're they effective. Work. They, uh, it, may, it takes a person's argument away when they get a speeding ticket further down the road. Right. Well, uh, seeing a blue flashing right light really makes your heart go in your mouth. You know, it just does. <laughs> uh, I, haven't, I haven't tried the one on Heartland Hill, but I know the one on 106, you know, it just, yep. yeah, that light comes on, it just is, it's an instinctive reaction. Then you like to watch the numbers change. That's right. You, yeah. okay. <laughs> you go and say, well, how fast can I go when that light won't yeah, go? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you guys get the data from all that to look at? We can. Right now, we, uh, we do not own a data card for it. We have a data card off the one on 106 that can be taken out and inserted on this one on Hartland Hill <coughs> from time to time to get some recordings. It would be good to do that. Mm -hmm. The other interesting thing, uh, which I've said so the board knows about this, we're positive in our own minds that GPS has brought a lot of the traffic because of the volume of out-of-state plates. There aren't that many out-of-staters that live on Highland Hill. They would know that either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and the one that's really proved it to me is the groups of motorcycles, oh, wow. big bikes. Hmm. I rode for 30 or 40 years on a, a, a big bike, and you don't ride on dirt roads if you can avoid it because of potholes and loose stones and that kind of thing. And I see these couples going up through with, you know, wife, girlfriend on the back, just five or six bikes. And I say to myself, you got a surprise coming. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is paved all the way to where you want to go, it's not. <laughs> right. Right. Great, thank you. So, I was remiss to introduce our newest addition to the select board, and I'd like to welcome Lynn who will be replacing Mary. Thank you, <laughs> In Mary. transition period, she has her training wheels on. So, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, welcome her to the family. So, yes, yeah, yeah. So, thank you. So, on to where would we like to go now? That's up to you. Let's can I just follow the agenda? Yeah, we can. Any old <coughs> business? That we need the only to. old business I have that's not on your agenda is a report on the bridge on 106 down by that was a question. Kendall Road mm -hmm. that we had the meeting on about a year ago. It's scheduled to go to bid for construction next spring. It will be closed to all traffic for th three weeks, 21 days. The contractor gets to pick which three weeks. Mm -hmm. The only requirement is that it be open to traffic on Friday, May 27th. Is the last day they could be closed. Maybe it's Saturday, May 28th. That has to be open, or the contractor gets penalties. So that's how it's written. We had a lot of discussion about the detour. What is going to be the designated detour? That's, there will not be a designated detour in that the state cannot force traffic on our town roads. So the designated detour will be signs on your interstates and on your state highways advising people that 106 
is closed in Woodstock. <laughs> and so it'll work a lot like the rec center bridge work. We had a regional detour and the signs <coughs> were effective just keeping traffic, keeping the big trucks away. Um, you know, just gave me a nod on the, the bus that we have going that way, two buses, right? I mean, they can go. They can use Churchill Road. They can use Churchill, or they can use what's that, that road call that goes by Paul Kendall's old house. Yeah, Kendall, Kendall Road. Kendall oh, is that, is it, so it's after Kendall we're, Road. We're just after one road, road, one way, yeah. one road. We have talked way, about it, but we don't have really have the state cannot. If if you do a detour of a state highway like 106, your detour has to accommodate. State, state highway traffic, traffic which is weights and lengths of your biggest trucks mm -hmm. but can we make a local detour that's one way in each on each of those people roads? will learn that they'll just learn it. You, you can't put up a detour sign without making it a real official detour so it'll be a regional detour of, uh, so but all big the trucks has to stay on state highways there won't be any, anything to keep two-way traffic from being on those side roads, though. That's correct. Three weeks, we make it work. Yeah. Yeah. And they're using good about their three weeks. No yeah, well, no history. contractor wants to pay penalties. Right. Yeah. That makes me think of a thought that went through my mind today. I'm not trying to rush summer because I love it. And I'm not looking forward to winter, but when winter comes, all those big trucks and all those excavators and bulldozers go away. I mean, we have been surrounded by road construction this summer. I think it's been more than we've ever had in the region. Everywhere, yeah. You know, it's constant, and you figure out how to get around it if you've got to travel the road every day. I thought people would be interested in that. Thank you. Yep. Okay. New business. Appoint voting delegate for the VLCT town fair. That would be me. That yeah. would be Phil. Let's we'll say you've done it in the past, so yeah. I will make that motion that we appoint Phil to be our voting delegate to the VLCT town fair. I will second that. Motion's made and seconded for Phil to be the delegate designation. So. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Next one is Lister's request to correct a, the grand list for 2015, which was a veteran's exemption error. Well, just presuming their information is factually correct, has to do with a veteran's exemption that was not <coughs> filed or known to them at a certain time, I guess I'll make the motion that we um, correct the 2015 Lodge grant list. Motion's been made. Do I hear a second? second. second. Motion's made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Driveway access permit. Yep, that is for Westerdale. Smith on Westerdale Road on the Class 4 Park, which we know to be the Class 4 Park because of some excellent surveying work that was done. <laughs> and uh, at that location, the culvert is not needed. John and I were up. Oh, no, it's all level. And then the drive itself will slope away from the road, so there won't be any runoff running onto the road. So they're moving a driveway? No, they're or adding they're a second driveway to okay. access the barn, which okay. is uphill from the house. Okay. So you looked at it, John? Looks okay? Yep. Do you want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve it. Yep. I'll, I'll second it. Motion's been made and seconded. For approval of the driveway permit, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? I have one other 
um, <coughs> access. Oh, Phil, if I could yeah. interrupt you, the, on the Lodge Grand list, we should be signing us. Is there one? Yeah, I think there's an original one. Okay. Right okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good Go ahead. There was one other um, access that John and I looked at where people want to put a culvert across in the ditch and then have some steps up the hill to access part of their yard. And when we were up, we didn't have the details for how far from the road. All the steps would be inset into the hill and the top of the, hole, the ground on top of the cover would be about four inches below grade so it won't affect plows or trucks. That was one up on Gully. So I don't have the blank, but I'd like to ask for approval of that. <coughs> you see it? Yeah, I saw it. And, uh, they are going to take responsibility if the swing hits it and whether the time of plow. So I guess uh, there's nothing like nothing but what we can approve as far as I can see. So you're making the motion? I'll make a motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please do approve it. I'll second. Motion is made and seconded. So all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? Appointment to the Town Development Review Board. Yes, we, uh, we have one. Yes, we have one. Larry <laughs> Lombard would like to retire. He's been a good member and a good, done a lot of good service, and he would like to retire. We've been advertising all year. I think we have a very we have a good quality bond. candidate here. Unique of, to be someone who's worked in Cutter. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Former Peace Corps volunteer. Well, I'll make a motion that we uh, appoint Kimberly French to the development. This is the Town Development Review Board. Yes. Motion's been made. Any we're here? Second. Second. She's asking for an interview here. She did interview <laughs> with the Town Development Review Board. Oh, okay. Uh, if you don't have any, you interview when you have multiple candidates yeah. or questions. Yeah. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded to accept Kimberly French onto the Town Development Review Board. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Consider an annual donation to the Red Cross. We have a letter here. Is this something we have done? What? Do we do this? Have we regular? done this before? We have done it in the past. We have? We have not had a letter every year, but um, it's in the fall when they ask for money, and you have done it in the past. Has it <coughs> been in the budget, Phil? Or it would be you your select board contingency. Just our select board contingency, mm -hmm. yeah. Request for funds. Yeah, I don't happen to remember it either, Bruce, but I'm just, you know, thought is that we open up Pandora's box. Yeah. I mean, I get letters mm -hmm. every day from somebody. Oh, and yeah. I, then I get them again next week. <laughs> yeah, we can send them the stock letter. They can get their petition up. I mean, it's a great organization, but... Uh, I think we're. Yeah, you came down. You made a kind of hard policy last year. People need to get the petition up. There's not a local office system. I don't. There are uh, every organization that asks for money doesn't have a local office. They just. No, I know, service. but this this one doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's the closest office mm -hmm. is in Burlington. Didn't there used to be something more local? There's one in Rutland and one in White River. Oh, there is? Yes. <coughs> That's my petition level. Other opinions other than mine? They come to all Woodstock fires, don't they, usually? They're pretty supportive. They yeah. showed up with coffee and donuts. Coffee yeah. and Last time I saw them yeah. was at the Bassett fire. Yeah. Mm. Usually around. I 
I, I think I would support <coughs> Bruce's suggestion that we uh, ask him to to go the same route that all of our uh, mm -hmm. people that are asked for donations mm -hmm. go and, and uh, circulate a petition. Okay, so we're considering. <laughs> So what's the best? Um, just if, if you want to go that route, we have a letter we'll send them. Okay. That we send yeah. other yeah. people. We have a petition. Letter. We have a petition letter. So is that what we'd like to do? <coughs> yes, <coughs> petition sure. letter. Sounds like it. Okay. I'm, I'm rather torn, but it sounds like it. I know. <laughs> okay. So we will table that consideration and send a letter and have them. So, <coughs> we want to do the, let's see, see if we can cover the additions and deletions sure. two before we get to the <coughs> last one. On that one. So we have the sand bids. Review bids for fuel oil and winter sand. Yes. We have two <coughs> bids for fuel oil. One of them did not meet our spec and that it did not provide evidence of having service personnel available nights and weekends and holidays the way Dan River does. And the price difference, I think, was a, a hundredth of a cent. I recommend the Dead River. They're the ones who've had it before. Yes, right? they're regular. Yeah. Continue with them. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we uh, go along with the recommendation of the town manager and uh, award the bid for fuel oil to Dead River. I'll second it. Okay, motion's made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Winter sand. The sand, they had four companies <coughs> put something in. They didn't all meet our spec. I think it comes down to two that provided proposals on all the products. We use a mix of regular sand and then make some manufactured sand, which is crushed granite ledge rock, and it's got some angle to it, so it's sharper and it, and it has more cash. And we mix those two products together. And so Pike has a great ability to deliver on demand. So even though they're a little more expensive, they land product in the door when they need it. They have great arrangements with lots of truck operators who, you never know what truck driver you're going to get, but you know you're going get to your, get your sand when you need it. And we're looking to do both this screen sand and the manufacturing That's sand. right, you mix the two. So Pike is lower for the screen sand, yeah. but higher for the manufacturing. Correct, so the blend is a little, little <coughs> better. <coughs> trying to do the math at all. It looks like Pike actually comes in lower when you add the two together. Mm. It, it might, because the, the one that they're lower on is more volume, mm. is, is 2,000. Yeah. Well, once again, I would make a motion that we go along with the suggestion of the town manager and award the bid to Pike for, for uh, the winter. winter sand. I'll second that. Okay, motion's made and seconded to go with Pike for winter sand. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. What, what happens, we, we have limited space up there. We put up a pile that's good for about half the winter. It's so along about January, it's, it's gone, send me five loads, send me 10 loads. Mm -hmm. And you get it. Let's see, we have Safford Commons opening on September 22nd at 11 a.m. We've been invited to join them with the governor. Correct. <coughs> so that's just an, an invitation. That's an invitation. Okay, Tuesday, September 22nd at 11, if anyone can. Make it. 
it would be um, a good thing. Yes, anybody? <laughs> They want all of us. Does he want all yeah, of us? Yeah, inviting everybody. They would like to. Have I think they would like to can, have a good showing. <clears throat> I think I have. Since the governor will be there. Six buses that morning. No. <laughs> I bet you I'd be glad to come. Yeah. Is <laughs> Is there anyone who's able to come at this point? I will be there. Phil yeah. will be there. I can't. I don't. It, it's not convenient for me either. But I have been a big supporter of theirs. But. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I can, I can probably make room for it. Okay. Thank you. Hazard mitigation plan approved by FEMA. Yeah, that's wow. why we need to find yes. How many times have we? <coughs> They'll four. probably have a new one for you in February. Okay. For sure. So that was a good thing. Um, we need two representatives for a fire chief selection committee. From the board, right? Yes. And I'd Bruce like to select board. Okay. Bruce is offered. To is there anyone else that could do that? I probably can. Excellent. We well, did a fine job on the last search. I know. Uh, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy decision. Okay. So Bruce and I will. Great. Thank you. Another tough decision. Tough shoes to fill. Yes. Okay. Do we want to do Board of Sewer Commissioners? Might as well keep going. Keep going, and then we'll leave our executive session to last. Correct. So we have a, we have a an addition, and we have a regular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did we start? Which one? Connection okay. permits. Yes. One is a, the restaurant one. Is that the one where? One for there. Is there another one? The um, yeah. Janet. Um, Janet Marvin Cole building. Yeah, Janet Cole. Oh, oh, right. right. Okay. Building down there, the two bays. Yep. When that one had it, it was the grain building. Yep. Like to put in a, a facility inside that. Okay. And the fee has been paid. On both of them? Just on the one of the Marvin's, uh, oh, okay. the garage. Then. Marvin the is connection. the addition. That's That's okay. Connection. Right. That's a new connection. Okay. Right. <coughs> I would move that we approve this sewer connection for Janet Cole. Second. Motions are made and seconded to accept the sewer connection. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So we took care of that one. On to our regular sewer. So I think that the um, pie restaurant, yep. they're adding seats. And they would like to, which comes to, for the number of seats they're adding is a $7,650 permit fee. And they would like to break that down and pay $4,000 up front with $1,000 a month payments till it's paid off. And what I do, and it did with them in the past, is collected all the checks up front, uh, post-dated checks, and deposited them on the first of the month. So there's no interest then? No. <laughs> Have we done that before? Yes. W only with post-dated checks. Anybody have a problem with that? No. 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 That's helpful. So I, I guess okay. if we're looking for a motion, I'll make a motion that we uh, okay. approve this the, the request from Pie Restaurant. I'll second it. Motion to made and seconded to approve according to Phil's <laughs> recommendations. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. <coughs> Connection, Tasco Wastewater? Yes. So as part of 
only in operating a wastewater treatment plant on the Ottaquichi River, <coughs> we need to get a permit. And the permit is issued by the state of Vermont and also plenty of federal laws and regulations that, that also cover it. And so in our permit, one of the requirements was to do a 20-year structural integrity investigation of the plant, bring in an engineer and do a thorough inspection of your facility. And they found, well, it's a steel tank, and they found a considerable amount of rust that's repairable. It, of course, that will get you by a few more years eventually. You're going to probably end up removing it and replacing it with a new facility, a new set. You look at the photographs yeah. and the drawing, the single pencil drawing that you have, gives you an idea of all the chambers and the baffles and things. Mm -hmm. So pretty much all those panels, every one of those lines and panels is steel. And it's been in constant contact with water and groundwater now for 45, 50 years or better. Since and so it's going to be a fair amount of welding that has to be done. And then we'll dig um, It's not shown on this drawing, but where the input comes, there's uh, outside of the tank is a separate mini tank. So it'll probably have to be completely removed and replaced, or fabricated in place. We're looking for prices, for specifications and then prices for the work. But it is a condition of your permit that, that you keep your equipment up. Mm -hmm. Now Phil, I seem to remember that we had had some pessimistic reports in the past and done some repairs in the past. Am I we did. Um, Rusty Eastman was a very talented welder. When he mm -hmm. worked for us, he did a lot of welding on that tank. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It's Do you think we may be approaching the end of its useful life? I Basically, the engineers recommend doing the work to nudge you along, maybe the next generation of materials will be better. It is what they call a package plan, where it's designed. You won't hire an engineering <coughs> firm to design our own little 5,000 gallon a day plant. Mm -hmm. Or a 10,000 gallon. You would buy a package, and it would excavate, drop it in, connect the pipes, and go. So come in on a couple flatbeds. So that's ultimately how it will be replaced. If you get a permit, don't forget the state really wants you to pump that back to Woodstock and eliminate that little package plant. So as long as you're keeping up what you've got, you're not running the risk of Losing being denied a permit mm -hmm. to replace and then being told, well, now you have to make your move. Yeah. So right now we're, we're shopping around for what it'll cost to do the repairs to get us, get us about a good 15 more years. So you don't need any action? No, just, just I don't want you to be real surprised when I come he in with some, like some big numbers in, in a couple this months. This is what we have to do. Okay. Okay. Ready, you have your addition for the... Sludge truck. Sludge truck, yep. sludge truck needs some repairs. Speaking of more repairs, <laughs> you're gonna sludge. with with parts and labor be slightly under six thousand dollars. It's the part of the pump itself that leaks. Mm -hmm. So if it's driving a wagon full down the road, it would leak on the road. Mm -hmm. It is nothing to stop it. So we need to make some some repairs. It's old. It's got very few miles on it. It runs great, it keeps chugging along for us. We do not need a new truck, but we do need to Repair. make necessary repairs from time to time. Do you need a motion for that? Yes, please. So moved. 
I'll second. Motion is made and seconded to repair the sledge truck. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Anything else we have? <coughs> Approval of minutes. Um, is there anything we have to do about the report on Densmore Hill? Just, the, no. just approve of it. Just approve of it. Okay. Has any action been taken? No. <coughs> no, we haven't had the engineer come to town yet either on the, on the rest of the, the road survey. Yeah. Okay. Um, They look fine to me, so I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for, on the report of the public hearing for the alteration of Densmore Hill Road. Bruce and I weren't there, so you no weren't there. So John's got a second. You second that I'll one. Second okay. It. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Who's there? August twentieth. John already found one. <coughs> Did you see anything in this one, John? No, nothing. Uh, it's we'll just us guys. You guys are not here either. Day. Boy, you well, guys are looking at that one. Or I have yeah, the total for the, the, um, the more additions and no, deletions. I didn't no put the individual so. numbers, and I will do that. Mm -hmm. I discussed it with Mary before. <laughs> so I'll make a motion. We okay. I'll second it. <laughs> That's good. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. So now I need, I think we're set, a motion to go in executive session for a personnel issue. I would so move. Okay. Motion's been made. Second. And seconded. Thank you.